Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Title Tuesdays. My name is Kevin Thatcher, the founder and CEO here at Independence Title, also known as your Title King, as well as the best-selling author of Rescue Your Business. You see right here, you can get on Amazon. We talked about it the past couple of weeks, and we'll get back into a couple of more chapters in the coming weeks to help take your business to the next level. But today we are joined by a very special guest, Ben from Boss Construction. We're gonna talk about a lot of important things. If you're a real estate agent, you're a real estate investor, buy, fix, and flip, wholesaler, you have come across the scary topic of permitting and code violations. And Ben owns a company that we're gonna talk about permit resolution and how he can assist you getting your deal to the closing table because there's nothing more that anyone hates than a deal not being able to close. So thanks That's right. for joining us. Thank you. Thank you so much for having us, Kevin. So one of the things, you know, we do a lot with lien searches and title searches. And and, and first, I want to set the, the stage for you out there for people that are watching this because they, they usually get confused, lien search versus title search. And I like to explain to them, lien searches don't search for liens and title searches don't search for what a lien search searches for. So title search is everything that's recorded in the public record. So yeah. if you have a code lien, it's going to show up. But what we're talking about with Ben today are code violations, code issues, code notices. Open and expires. Open and expired permitting issues. Uh, you know, th this is a very important topic that we come up with because a lot of title companies nowadays are not pulling permit searches because in the new contract, they remove permitting from the lien search and, and they added it, which we've talked about before. They added it to the home inspection, the inspection clause. The inspection clause says they need to uncover this and buyers are like, well, I didn't know about it. So if you're a buyer, if you're a seller, this is gonna be an important topic. We're gonna give you a little bit of education and some things you can even do from your home on your own computer just to search for it or obviously you can give our office a call. So let's talk a little bit, uh, you know, we, we have all the time uh, permitting issues come up. We pull a lien search and if the contract says that, that the seller will remedy liens prior to closing, that's great. That's a great clause for the agents to put in the contract. Sure. So what do we do if we come across a permitting issue from, uh, let's just say, uh, 2003, an old roof permit that was never closed. It was completed, but for whatever reason, the final inspection wasn't done. What does the seller that's watching this video need to do? Um, well, hey everyone, this is Ben from Balls Construction. So the seller needs to, in fact, look at the deficiencies that happen with the city. So uh, sometimes I'll have one uh, inspection that was missed, which is the final, and sometimes I'll have the tin tag and the hot mop missed. So this is work that is covered up. So a lot of times what we need to do is we need to do a change of contractor, we need to renew the permit, uh, we probably need to get an engineer's letter. It depends on what jurisdiction you're in and what building official is acting at the time. Meaning some of the cities have steered away from engineer letters in lieu of inspections. So every situation is different, but what, um, what I can tell you guys is to uh, look at what inspections were missed, what those comments were, and that, you know, simple thing, you know, um, you guys can call us over here. Um, you guys can call the city, you know, like my mom did in Cooper City, who was checking up on a roofer. He has this and he has that. And hey, I'm a resident. I want to know if what stage you are in the permit process before it's issued or when you're in the inspection process. Um, you could call up the city and say, I'm, you know, I'm a resident. I want to find out the comments or I want to find out if my permit is still open. So I told a lot of agents and investors, again, always kind of say you're the resident because that's, you know, you know, when I used to work for the city, that's who the city works for. Right. The residents and business owners, um, you know, and you're more likely to get a better response than, than, than saying uh, I'm the agent or I'm uh, investing in the house and, um, you know, this is getting in the way of my commission and, uh, the city's going to say, well, okay, pull an estoppel, go to the city clerk, pull a lien search, or why is this a problem now and it wasn't eight years ago? Right, yeah, I mean, we're seeing it all the time. We're pulling it and there's so many old stuff. Sometimes the buyers say, okay, we'll take care of it. Sometimes we can call the city and the city will uh, just wave it, wash it out, you know, they wipe it out. Sometimes it's on. a little like administrative thing. Um, you know, but again, it's a situational basis. And, you know, I, I tell all the real estate professionals, um, I tell everyone, you know, just to be as proactive as possible, like we were saying, and I do a free consultation. So um, anything that they need, um, like for example, there's some situations that I was in this morning, I was in Sunny Isles Beach, I can't help them. They had an open flooring permit. They renovated the entire condo. The flooring permit was from two previous owners. Um, again, I know if I call the city of Sunny Isles in there, I'm gonna light up everything. 
So I tell the agents and I try and give them the best advice. So sometimes they can be resolved and the work is okay. Sometimes they can be resolved and there's minor tweaks and, uh, and adjustments that have to be made on the surface. And sometimes I'm explaining to the buyer and seller the situation and putting a valuation on it. But again, always keeping that deal together and on track. Because when that lean search, you know, I mean, when, when, when you're hit with that lean search and you're an agent or you're a seller, the first thing you're trying to do is contact that contractor. Even if they are in business, good luck getting them out. Right, they, and, they and, usually don't want to be bothered. And for some reason, I don't know why the city keeps let these people pull building permits. I was just in Hillcrest in, in, in Hollywood, and there was five elderly people who had shutters um, put on their uh, sliding windows. And the, the same guy in the city of Hollywood applied for permits, left the permits in denial, before they were issued, didn't pay for them, showed the association, hey, I got the permit, went up, did the work, left all the permits open. One of those elderly people, and this will be featured in the Sun Sentinel, had to sell their unit. So again, you know, it, it, it becomes a very, very hardship situation for any seller involved. And, we're, and, and the work that this guy did was great. It passed inspection, it was to the product approval. It's just laziness, I think, sometimes. And I'm gonna throw right behind us here the video where we talked with Jason from Clear Choice Tax and Lean. I'm gonna throw that video up here so you can click on it after and just check it out because it talks a lot about some of the things Great that they're video. seeing. Great and, 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 and video. And it identifies the solution. And again, not every, not every lean search company identifies um, sections. Again, I've seen some even commentary that's given to help prompt not only uh, here's the phone number to the building department, but here's who you can talk to. So it, it's just, and, and, and that's really where I start at my point with what I'm doing. I'm either given the lean search, or if the agent is proactive and pulls the lean search or calls the city, and, and that's where I start with that permit number and that lean search. And I'm, I'm looking at these things all day and Clear Choice does a good job at that. Right, so now let's talk about that. That's a great segue, thanks for bringing that up. You know, we talk about what can, what can a seller that's watching this do to be proactive. So we have a seller or a listing agent and they want to be proactive. What, you know, we, we talk about that all the time in Palm Beach County because the sellers select the title company. They can call our office. We have actually developed a uh, title curative program where a seller can hire us. We can order a title search, order a lien search, and then once they find a buyer, we'll be able to close for them. And what we try and tell them is there are so many things that we're uncovering. Like on a title search, we're uncovering old mortgages that were never satisfied issues that, that the mortgage was paid off, but the title company was sloppy and didn't use a company to get the satisfaction of mortgage filed. So now we talk about lien search issues, we're seeing permitting, code issues, things from years back. We're talking about um, code liens that were wiped out in a foreclosure and never satisfied are coming up. And these issues are taking months to resolve yeah because they don't want to hire a company such as yourself. So what I try and tell people here is that if you're a seller and you're looking to sell your property, you need to get this type of search done. And if you can't control your closing, all you have to do is order a search, which then can be used for the closing. But it's just like, why, why would a buyer order a home inspection? Because you want to uncover the issues before it becomes a problem after closing. So you want to do your homework. So I want to identify every every deficiency. And again, a lot of times I'm called, you know, 10 days before the closing. Um, when sometimes, like in the market situation, I was able to get it closed out in four or five business days. But, you know, w one thing triggers another with the city and everything is very complicated and it's never the same. It's not cookie cutter. So again, you know, like if you open an office and you gotta get a local business tax receipt, the city wants to come and inspect to see if everything was done with permits and, and, and that could and take time. And absolutely that and, and, and so and, and that time, like you mentioned, you know, I've talked to mortgage professionals, I've talked to a lot of people, people, you know, the buyer, their rate lock is expiring, like the transaction is falling apart. You know, and that's very yeah, and they're uncovering this, you know, at, the, at the, the last minute, you know, in the last hour, we're uncovering these types of issues. And that's because we order a lean search. The lean search could take 10 to 15 days to come in and, and we're getting a close to closing. So if you are watching this video and you're a seller or you're a seller's agent or you're an investor, stop delaying your closing. Get that search ordered ahead of time and let a company such as Boss Construction just step in and, and resolve these issues for you. 
These issues need to be resolved. You can always try and do the work yourself. Just like my business, just like a real estate agent, you can list your house with one of these no cost brokerages and, and hope everything is gonna go right or you hire a professional that is educated in the industry. Um, and, I'm, and, and I'm more of like, and just to touch on that, I'm, I'm more of an owner operator. So um, I'm an owner's representative, I'm an owner operator, I'm not this general contractor who's looking to do work. Even in Carl Springs earlier, I had a landscaping violation and the seller told me, my brother's gonna help me do the landscaping work, but can you work with the city and find out the minimum landscaping we need to bring this into uh, compliance is what they call it. And so, you know, I, I, you know but again, it, it, a lot of times it's a hardship situation and um, you know, either, either, either the contractor left the permit open or the work wasn't performed to plans. So, you know, a lot of times it requires being very diligent and identifying all, all of those issues even before opening the permit. So, no, you know, I, I was also, there was a bedroom and a bathroom, you know, in a garage in Ramblewood. And this was about a year ago. And uh, the first buyer's agent let the city uh, well, alerted the city and the seller let the city in the house. So you had a $1,000 demolition job with a bedroom and bathroom for mom, um, you know, turn into a $10,000 with double permitting fees, capping off the electric, capping off the plumbing. So Well, that's because they really... think they know what they're doing. And a lot of times I think real estate agents might overstep their boundary Please, a little and, and, bit. And, well, you know, bef when I used to work in the city of Weston building department is a building, uh, I was a permit technician, I was a code officer, I was a zoning plan reviewer, um, but I saw a lot of realtors coming in the building department uh, because they were trying to fix these issues. And, and again, I understand my whole family's agents. Uh, I, I, I am an agent too, before I got into this. And, and, and I understand why the realtors were in there because they're trying to you know, save their deal and best represent their buyer or their seller. But I've come into a lot of situations um, even when I worked in the building department, um, that where realtors are not code compliance professionals, and they're, you know, I understand they're trying to give their client a good level of service, but they've made the situation worse. And what do I mean by that? Not only have they, you know, their liability to their broker and their brokerage, but uh, again, their liability to their seller. I've seen re agents and sellers try and facilitate this, these processes, and then one thing triggers another, meaning that you know, uh, they get that shutter permit closed out and there's huge renovations that have gone on in the unit or the single family. Yeah. So, so again, you know, these things don't happen all the time, but I've seen agents lose listings. I've seen agents kill their relationship with the sellers and I'm not trying to be dramatic, but no, I'm no, trying to say, important. you guys aren't code compliance professionals. You guys aren't licensed, you know, to do that. They so. should at least call you. And, and you know, we talk about that in other videos where we talk about short sales, you know, how big short sales were years ago and everyone says, you know, can you close a short sale? I said, I'll close a short sale, but I will not negotiate a short sale. There are title companies that are negotiating short sales and although they're allowed to me, you're kind of representing a client and yeah. practicing law without a license. I and, mean, and you're I, kind of giving them yeah. legal advice to try and get them a short pay, and I just don't believe in it. I stay as far away from short sales as possible, just like agents should stay far away from becoming a, a permit resolution company yeah. just to save the listing, because they may actually lose the listing and lose their commission. And it doesn't take but a couple of minutes to just give Ben's company a call and and a free consultation and just free, see yeah what's so needed. so so free consultation we'll do the research for you I'll give you the best recommendations if I think I can help I will go out to the property and I will meet you in the cellar there um, and uh, it is a very quick thing because I again you know don't hold on to those lean searches um, don't you know and, and, and again a lot of times um, uh, human nature is when we don't have an answer, we don't have someone in the toolbox, we hold on to it for three business days or see if it will resolve itself. And um, again, you have a solution, you have me, I'm here to help you and represent the seller the best. So, the, awesome. and, 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 and I think it's gonna be with. some baby steps. So let him jump in and start with what he feels is the best uh, first approach. Yeah. And, 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 and again, I'm not talking about like, um, where the permit status on Palm Beach County's website says open, but you see all the inspections, so you just call the county. Those are really simple things. And again, the local jurisdictions is is, is crazy and as cumbersome as they are, and a lot of them with the reoccupancy inspections in Miami-Dade, 
I mean, that's a whole even other story. You know, these guys want to come on the property. They want to look for water heaters without permits, air conditioners without permits. They're using the conveyance of ownership to remedy code violations. So these are like, so, so again, you know, um, I deal with Gary Biswick, for example, in the city of North Miami every day. And I said, Gary, I said, uh, are you here to see if a duplex has a third unit or uh, an addition? He's like, no, I'm, I'm here to check for, you know, air conditioners and water heaters and things that were done. You know, so these are the, the these are the really little things that are that are making a big deal. Right. Um, and, uh, you know, well, before you open up the can of worms, make sure you yeah. do homework. Ahead I'm not trying to scare and... everyone. No, 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 no. But this is I think this is an informative one that we love to do some of these where we bring on guests to to give some war stories and some horror stories to to let them really know what to look for. If they're the seller, if they're the buyer, if they're the investor, if they're the agent, if they're the lender. I mean, there are resources for them to get these deals closed. So and I, I appreciate you coming in. Thank, Thank you. you very Thank much. Thank you so much. I'm going to put Ben's information up here on the video. So please feel free to give him a call tell him we sent you you saw the video uh, because we want to let him know that obviously these videos are working so as always thanks for watching this episode of title tuesdays we look forward to seeing you on a future episode don't forget to go buy the book i'm going to put the link here on the video for rescue your business the best-selling book on amazon you can buy it on amazon for 14.97 or on our website for 9.97 and i will send you a personalized Ooh. author copy i like that so thanks for watching title tuesdays my name is kevin tatcher signing off and as always i look forward to seeing you at the closing table. Thanks for having us, Kevin. You're welcome. All right.